In this video, we're gonna talk about creating basic exponential functions from tables. So as uh, just kind of a, a reminder, when we're talking about these basic exponential functions, the value of A is going to be our starting point. Now it's not necessarily always going to be our y-intercept. However, when we have the function in regards to this formula here, it is gonna be our y-intercept. And I'll show you what that means in just a little bit. The B value is going to be our rate. So if I was looking at a word problem, that might be something like doubles, triples, halves, quarters, whatever. Well, that value would go in for our B, and whatever we start with would go in for our A. X is always gonna be our, our, our time or our measurement, whatever we're looking at. So without further ado, let's look at how to create basic exponential functions from tables. So in this first example, we have this table, it goes from negative two to two, and the question asks us to write an exponential function from the table. Well, you know, right in the very beginning, they tell us that it's an exponential function, so we know it's gonna be in the form of a times b to the x. Now, when, the easy way to kind of think through this is to find a, that is going to be wherever x equals zero. So it's very similar to our y-intercept in a linear function. However, with an exponential, as long as we do not have an asymptote out here, the, a, the value of a will always be whatever it is at x equals zero. So I'm gonna write that here where x equals zero with an asymptote at y equals zero. Now, the way that we know that there's an asymptote at y equals zero is if there is nothing written out past our exponential function. So since we just have a times b to the x, there's nothing there, we know that our value is going to be this. So when I go to create this uh, this function, I can say f of x equals a, which is 2, because we're getting that from x equals 0. Now, I want to find whatever my, my b value is. And this is very simple. I can take two different points. So in this particular case, I'm going to take 232 and 1, 8. And we look strictly at our y values. Now, all I have to do is take my second y value and divide it by the first y value. 32 divided by, by 8 gives me 4. So I wind up with 2 times 4 to the x. And that is my exponential function from a table. So again, we find our b value by taking our second y term and dividing it by our first. And we find our a value by looking at where x equals zero. All right, so let's look at another example real quick. So I'm looking for f of x equals a times b to the x. Find our a value first. Well, that's going to be where x equals 0. So I have f of x equals 3 times something to the x. Now I can pick any, um, any values I want. Typically, I don't really want to work with decimals, so I'm going to pick these first two here, and I'm going to take my y values only. Take my second y value divide it by my first y value, and I'm left with one half. So that means that my function is f of x equals three times one half to the x. If I notice my x, my, my y values, f of x, is decreasing, it's going from something big to something small, 
Therefore, it tells me that I have a decay function. In our first example, we're going from something small to something big, which tells me we have a growth and that my B value will be greater than one. So here's a quick video on just how to find an exponential equation from a table. I hope it helps. Be sure to check out our other videos of linear equations as well. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.